We don't hold people accountable because if we had, we, you know, our situation would be so much better. You know, we we allow people to, you know, test nuclear weapons anywhere they want. Mostly, you know, they, they store it all under the ground, you know, where our groundwater is, where our plants rely on the the groundwater and the nutrients in the ground to produce food and such for us. So we don't hold people accountable for that at all. Because a lot of us do not understand what's going on with that. Because what we're so overwhelmed with our responsibilities. We need to take care of this. We need to take care of that. But most people are just so fixed, so fixed on wondering, okay, what what is everybody else doing? And how can I outdo them? Okay, whether it's in knowledge, whether it's in this or that and the other, how can I outdo them? How can I step over them? Okay, how can I leapfrog over them and get your attention? Because that's what they want. They want your attention. Welcome to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Love is spoken here. With your host and guide, Michelle Carithers. Morning, morning, everybody. Evolution of the consciousness. Love is spoken here. I'm Michelle Carruthers on this Saturday, March the 23rd, 2024. Up and at it, enjoying the beautiful morning that I'm experiencing as the sun breaks through the clouds. I'm not sure of the temperature, but I really enjoy, you know, watching the sky and paying attention to what the birds are doing, and and just feeling the expansion of what we have in store for us as we develop ourselves and evolve our consciousness. And, you know, I'm really, really fascinated by that type of um, reality that we are in the midst of, despite what what everything else going on in the backgrounds in our lives. I really enjoy, you know, just wanting to understand what is really going on. I want to understand. And that's the main thing. So, you know, I've been paying attention to what's going on in my environment. And in my environment, everything is exactly as it it is. You know, it's exactly as it is. You know, I'm getting a lot of things done personally, you know, setting the goals I've set, you know, are coming through in a great you know, a great fashion, you know, this is not being rushed, rushed, and it's not scaling along. Things are moving forward and, and I can sense it and feel it and receive it. So, you know, there will always be setbacks though, however, and that just comes with our particular situation. We, we're so massively overpopulated. We, a lot of us have to sit around and wait for others to move before we can move because we are blocking so many of everyone's path. You know what I mean? I told you that when you're when we're on these paths and journeys, someone's going to always be blocking your path, blocking your journey, interfering. And so you just have to be somewhat creative and, and navigate your way through there safely, you know, and not allow yourself to get built up with what's going on. Because a lot of stuff is going on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was I was paying attention to, you know, I pay attention to a lot of things going on. You know, I pay attention to what people are saying, what people are doing. But unfortunately, I can't pay attention to everybody. I enjoy listening to conversations. I enjoy listening to discussions, whether it's relating to some of the things that I'm concerned about or not. I just want to get a feel for what is going on, how we are moving forward during these times. and. You know, for the most part, it is business as usual for some, and for the others, it's like we are re- we are we are so lawless. And I said that before. We're so lawless that we we believe, and that's what's going to come back and haunt so many people. We believe that we can just at a, at a, you know just come in and disturb the fabric of what has been in existence for millions and millions of years. And that is what? The the development of our consciousness, the evolution of our consciousness. A lot of people are under this illusion and under the delusion of believing they have that much power that they can change 
the course of the development of our evolution. And all you're doing is delaying yourself, unfortunately. And, and, you know, and that has been going on for millions of years. Let's just put it out there. Thousands, millions of years where, for some reason, we believe that because of our physicalness, we have all of this power. And we're not understanding that we are part of, of spiritual, okay? Our physicalness is limited. Our spiritual is unlimited. And a lot of you say that in your, your daily meditations, your daily motivations. And, you know, you say the right words. And that's, what's, that's, what, I, that's what I'm picking up. People are saying beautiful words, talking beautifully. And and they have the ability to speak in a a measured fashion where they can they can persuade anybody. They can convince people. And those are the auditories, honey. Auditories. We have millions of them. Well, maybe not millions, but I'm sure, especially on the social media platform, we have a lot of auditories that, you know, they know how to how to convince you. They know how to indoctrinate you. They know how to take the attention away from what you need to do and put it all on them. They have the ability to have you believe everything that's coming out of their mouth. And and the sad part is that a lot of people are not holding these people accountable, ordering them to give you some proof, give you some evidence of how much power they claim to have. And it usually comes from the intellectual talking heads because the intellectual talking heads are very clever and sophisticated. Some of them, they have that, especially the ones that have that, that uh, cleric, that sort of narcissistic, sociopath, psychopath tendencies. You know, they know how to, as they say, get the ball rolling, you know, when, when actually and because they know that we, they know that the majority of the planet are not reading a goddamn thing. <laughs> we don't hold people accountable because if we had, you know, our situation would be so much better. You know, we, we allow people to, you know, test nuclear weapons anywhere they want. Mostly, you know, they, they store it all under the ground, you know, where our groundwater is, where our plants rely on the the groundwater and the nutrients in the ground to produce food and such for us. So we don't hold people accountable for that at all. Because a lot of us do not understand what's going on with that. Because what we're so overwhelmed with our responsibilities. We need to take care of this, we need to take care of that. But most people are just so fixed so fixed on wondering, okay, what what is everybody else doing? And how can I outdo them? Okay, whether it's in knowledge, whether it's in this or that and the other, how can I outdo them? How can I step over them? Okay, how can I leapfrog over them and get your attention? Because that's what they want. They want your attention. So I pay attention to a lot of that. A lot of people have some valuable information, however, whatever they're doing. I can pick up some valuable information from everyone, from all walks of life, no matter what they're doing. And that's how we, we're supposed to be complementary of each other instead of in competition with each other. But that's going to take some time for that to break through and to, to end itself. And sadly, you know, a lot of people are just going to succumb to their rhetoric. You know, they're going to succumb to their, their egos, you know, because people, you know, don't, you know, hold these people accountable. They allow them to say and do whatever they want. And a lot of us eat it up, too. We eat it up, and we, and we take it and we run with it, and, and then blah, blah, blah. I, I know it's difficult, but I know those of like-mindedness, we know it's difficult. It's, it's been difficult for thousands of years, millions of years. We have a knowing within our, our, ourselves of the essence of what is important in, in, in our physical existence. And it's about universal love, caring for people, loving people, being kind and gentle. But no, that's too feminine, right? Oh no, that's too masculine, right? 
And so we're running into those kind of barriers because most people are operating out of their ego. They don't understand it. It's a spiritual component to all of us. That is what keeps us alive, not our ego. Your ego will get you killed, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. So I've been paying attention, and I enjoy it. It's entertaining to me. I'm not so concerned, per se, believe it or not, even though we are in the midst of destruction, chaos, catastrophes, unlike anything we've ever seen before, I am still willing to help people. I'm, I will not stop evolving my consciousness and developing myself because I find joy in that. I can find joy in, in, in the simplest things. So I'm paying attention. I'm, I, you know, sometimes I'll go on to YouTube which is my favorite, even though it's AI saturated, you know, they, they want you, and, and, and here's a key too, they want you to be searching on those search engine bars. They want you, they want stuff in those bars. Trust me. <laughs> they, otherwise they won't give you any material anymore. They want, they want you to initiate the search so that they can use it against you just in case a crime happens, or just in case this happens. I don't know. I don't know the rationality of it all. I don't know, I, you know, I know it's unreasonable, the interference, but it's, you know, a lot of it is just too late. It's going to be part of our our existence on this planet, this planet that's going to be controlled and, and, and monitored and by artificial intelligence, okay? And then a lot of people are coming forward, expressing regret. I can tell in some of the faces there's some regret there because they knew they should have Held back, but nobody wants to do that. Everybody wants to get everything out. Put it out. Put it out, whether it's vaccines, whether it's medication, whether it's this or that or the other. Get it out on the market. Get it out on the market. You know, make these promises. Claim that they have control of it when they knew they do, did not have no control at all, at all. And it's just a fancy toy. Everything that's developing now and has been for decades upon decades are, are nothing more, nothing less than fancy toys. And equipments, you know, it's something, something cool, you know, or something, you know, to get kids is more so to get kids attention because they know that they are relying on kids to be interested in these type of toys. You know, these, these games, these, these uh, technical type of toys, keeping them indoors. Okay. Where they're not being physically active, not interacting with their neighbors, not going to parks, not even, you know, and there we are. And this also brings me to an interesting thing, too, that that's happening as well when it involves the biological woman, you know, the, how there's so much interference in the biological woman and how non-biological women are coming forward telling biological women how to live, how to play sports, who can go in their bathrooms, you know. And a lot of it, I could tell a lot of it is manufactured. It's, it's manufactured to get reactions out of people. I, I've, I've determined that as well. It's political. Hello. Remember, politicians or politics and some media outlets work hand in hand. They know how to, so they believe, read the room and know how to throw their agendas out there, throw their intentions and purpose out there to get reactions out of people. And and so so with everything, you have to be discerning. I mean, I'll participate in the games. Why not? You know, these these uh, manipulative, indoctrinating type of games that we play with each other. I'll participate, but then I know when to let go, turn my computer off, put my cell phone to the side, get out a book and read, or work on other important things in my life that I want to get done, you know. so. Yes, I'm paying attention. <laughs> I'm paying attention. It, it's 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 business as usual. Nothing really has changed. It's just there that we have a little bit more information, quote unquote, that we that we forced out of people. We force people to lay it on the table, so to speak, and talk about things that they may not have thought about or may not want. Maybe they wanted to keep it under the rug and not share. So that's why I say, hey, come out Shh, and come out and and do whatever you need to do to control your narrative. And if you're lying or not, it's going to come back and haunt you one way or another. 
So why not get on top of it and say, hey, this is what my intentions and purposes were, but I got myself wrapped up in my ego. And so I made myself appear to be more than I am. And I don't know how to change that. I need help with that. I need help with neutralizing my ego. Okay. Ask for help. I'm going to offer some services in the future as well. I'm sure others are doing the same, you know, just to assist us along the way, because at some point it's all going to collapse and crash down and it's going to be on top of you. Because remember when a building hierarchical pyramid style building is collapsing, what, what falls down first? Usually it's the top, it's the top down. So I'm paying attention. I'm I'm no more concerned than I have been because, like I said, it's business as usual. We have people, like I said, attempting to c- control everyone's narrative and project their theories and opinions on people instead of allowing people to to accept your theories and opinions, but make their own decisions and make their and have their own decisions made with that. But no, a lot of people just like to hear what everybody else is hear hear what everybody else is doing, and then decide, okay whether they're going to react or not or participate or not. You know, whatever the crowd is doing, I'm going to follow the crowd. That's that's that mentality that we've had for, for, for I mean, for thousands of years. Let's just say, you know, maybe for, since the inception, who knows, right? Since a, all of our, most of our knowledge is always, when we have had knowledge thousands of years ago, millions of years ago, it's always lost for some reason. And well, there's a reason, but it's, you know, most people just cannot remember what they've had for breakfast. That's, you know, that's the literal uh, deterioration of how we are thinking or lack thereof thinking. We're just kind of autonomous, you know, you know, hey, let let this device take care of it for me. You know, just yell at this device and tell this device to give me the answers. And all we're doing is setting up our patterns and behaviors to make things easier for not you, but it's going to be easier for technology to control you, manipulate you, and have you doing what they are, what they want you to do. So who is they? Once again, the hidden hands. The hidden hands love to be in where the action is. I told you, they're they're all over these famous places, Hollywood, Washington, D.C., Florida, Texas, I mean, all over the world, actually. These hidden hands that love to put their hands in the action because nobody wants, nobody, in most cases, most people are not paying them any attention. I can guarantee you that this started a while ago, I'm sure decades and decades ago. They realized that unless they looked a certain way, they would not get the attention of the the women, the men. So they go for the young people, the children. And even that's switching up on them. And and so they they had to create so they had to enter into certain type of careers. They had to enter in certain type of fields of knowledge, all because they want that attention. They want your attention. You know, they're the most they're more lonelier than anyone will admit, because a lot of them will become reclusive at some point if they don't harm themselves. And usually that's what's happening. You know, they've harmed themselves, but yet they left their legacy behind, whether it's in books and knowledge. And so a lot of people, I'm sorry, they left their legacy behind in books and their writings and their, and and like I said, it was un, it was un, no one took the chance to see if the, their theories and opinions work. A lot when, when their, their information was discovered, a lot of people just, Felt like, okay, that's, they felt like they had a treasure of knowledge. So they attempted to hide it and and conceal it and then project themselves as if they discovered it. It happens all the time. And what I'm, what I, what I sense and receive is, and, and you just have to be logical and reasonable about this because we're feeding artificial intelligence everything. You think they're going to know the difference between, you, you think they're, they're not going to recognize who who did what first? <laughs> I mean, think about it. Be logical and reasonable. So in other words, you're going to get exposed. And again, a lot of people have relied on so-called, quote unquote, knowledge of past philosophers, scientists, math, you know, those in math and 
And these are uh, sought out, well, they were sought out fields of knowledge. A lot of people don't want to go into that anymore. Have you paid attention to that? Most people want to do what? Okay, we know what most people want to do. If it's not involving gaming, coding, sports, music, you know, they want to get into those, those, those fields of attention that gives them the attention where they can, they don't, they just have the bare necessities of the knowledge in that field. They don't have to really know anything. They just come out and call themselves a scientist. Come out and call themselves, you know, philosopher. Come out and call themselves, you know, this or that and the other. And people will take it on and say, okay, because no one's necessarily challenging that and, and, and getting results and evidence from that. It's just nice to title yourselves. You know, anyone can call themselves a scientist these days, anyone. Anyone can call themselves philosophers, psychiatrists. And but what they usually say is they're they are coaches. You know, you have people coming out saying they're a life coach when they haven't when they can barely wipe their ass properly. But they're life coaches. OK. And then you say, well, what kind of experiences have you had? That's why I say you need to really, really get on top of sharing your experiences with people before someone else comes in via technology and steal it from you. And claim it belongs to them. I think a lot of people that are being accused of plagiarizing and, and, and it's because their material may have been stolen from underneath them. They just don't know it. And so, and it's fed into a machine and then it spills out and this and that and the other. So there's a lot of things that we just don't know. But we, you need to have a, a healthy amount of skeptic, you know, to be skeptical. You need to be healthy in that. You need to be healthy in your discerning. You need to be healthy about how you're thinking, does it make sense? Is it logical? Is it reproducible? You know, and, and, and stop getting yourselves caught up in this madness of insanity with oratory types, with those that will, will walk over you, you know, your relative, you know, they, they'll walk over their kids, their animals, their so-called friends and families just to get that attention. So just pay attention to it. It's everywhere. You know, especially when they can get us all immersed in the social media phenomenon, because that's what it is. It's an entity of of its own. And so you have to know how to discern yourself through that. And I notice a lot of older, what they they call them older, over, let's say over 60 maybe, or, you know, you know, stepping in it up and coming out from underneath you know, the barriers that were uh, bestowed beto- towards them as to what they're supposed to do when, they're, when they've when they retired. You know, a lot of them are coming out and, and rediscovering themselves, and that's a beautiful thing to see. So pay attention to the elderly. Protect the elderly. Protect the elderly. I don't understand why that would be anything that ought to be unexpected. I mean, it's a something that's expected. Take care of the elderly. Think about your mother, your auntie, your grandmother, your great-grandmother. Just protect them, you know, and again, protect biological women. Allow, think about your daughter. Think about your sister, your mother. You know, they, they actually rely on the strength of men. They rely, biological women, regardless of their sexuality, rely on the strength of biological men to protect them. It has nothing to do with your sexuality, whether you're feminine, masculine. I mean, biological biological men have their strength, physical strength for a reason, okay? It's to protect. My dad protect us, his property. So there's a lot going on. A lot of people are going to succumb to a lot of things that were ignored 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So now it's, 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 it's coming back. The boomerang is returning. It's returning with a force. Just as, and that's part of energy. That's part of sounds and tones. So just keep it moving. Keep elevating yourself. Keep asking the questions, you know. Be gentle and kind with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. You did not do this. Especially, I want to just make this very clear. You know, 
a lot of things were done thousands of years ago, maybe millions of years ago. So we are just in the effects of it. We're in the consequences of it. And some of it happened just around the 40s. You know, you know, there's a lot of things that were missed. There were missed opportunities. And so now we're just going to have to reap what we've sown. We we failed as a collective. We need to. I need to just make that very clear. If you think you're going to reach out and, and 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 rally up, you know, almost 10 billion people, okay, that's delusional, and you will not survive from attempting to take that on. But just be gentle and kind, and allow your sounds and tones to resonate to where sound can get through any crowd. Okay, even though I may not physically get like I told you, picture yourself in the middle of a million people or more, and you're attempting to get from A to B, okay, your sounds and tones will get you through the stars, the moon, and the mountains throughout the universe. Your sounds and tones are heard. That's why we have human beings, whether you want to admit it or not, or accept it or not, outside our soul system, that on a several times during a month, they are involved in a peace meditation to neutralize the negativity that surrounds this planet. And they use what? Sounds and tones. So I'm going to stop right there. I'm ready to have me something to eat, something to drink. I'm ready to just enjoy this day, get things done, contemplate, cultivate, cultivate. Ugh, I can't talk this way. <laughs> my mouth is dry because I usually have something to drink before I start doing my podcast. But I said, let me go ahead and get it out of the way so that I can sit down and enjoy my drink of coffee and and be really uh, peaceful about that, because that's a peaceful moment for me as well, getting up in the morning, enjoying the opening of the universe to us. The sounds and tones is the key. So, So focus on your sounds and tones, how you speak to people, how you speak to yourself, and do the best you can to pay attention to the instructions in the universe, the instructions in your environment, the instruction in nature as to how to stay on your path, stay on your journey, and enjoy the moments as they are coming towards you. Okay? I want to go ahead and sign off for now. Evolution of the Consciousness. Love is Spoken Here. I'm Michelle Carithers. Thank you so much for listening to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Please make sure to leave us a review. If you wish to ask a question to Michelle, you can leave her an email at Miss Michelle Carithers at gmail.com.